Hey guys, it's your actual beast here, and today I'm gonna be showing you my Halo collection, including action figures and my Mega Blocks. I must start off with my action figures. So uh, here, first, I have a Skirmisher Jackal. This was like the first action figure from Halo that I ever got. This is from Halo Reach, and it's missing one of the shields, but. It still looks pretty cool. Um, oh yeah, and that part falls off. Um, the helmet could also come off, which is pretty cool. So you can see his face. And they put a lot of detail in this action figure. I actually really like it. But his mouth cannot go up and down, so it's just staying open like that the whole time. And it came with a plasma pistol. And it's kind of hard to put it on because you can't really hold it right. It's always moving to the side. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty much the Skirmisher Jackal. These guys are pretty annoying when you're playing Legendary in Halo Reach. Next, I have Emil, who is one of my favorite action figures from Halo Reach because he looks super cool and nice in the shotgun. He's the what they call them the close range spartan um but yeah they put a lot of detail in this guy too uh, the helmet looks pretty cool you can see his skull right there um yeah that's pretty cool one thing that's kind of weird about him is his waist or his legs are unmovable so like he'll be standing in this pose the whole time and uh yeah that's pretty cool uh, then we have this guy, the Halo Reach Ultra Elite. Um, this one is my favorite elite out of all of the elites. I don't know why, for some reason, he looks super cool. Um, I believe he came with plasma rifles, but I lost a lot of the weapons that came with them. Um, they put a lot of detail, and I like that you could take off their helmets. Um, his head, unfortunately, is a little bit wiggly, so it falls off really easily. See, like that. But, um, if you look at the head, um, like that, it's easily take it, be, it's easily able to be taken off, and then you can put it back on, and then, he looks kind of funny without the helmet, but, <laughs> yeah, kind of looks like a squid, but this is my favorite one, they put a lot of detail into these guys, see that? Uh, then we have the Elite Miner, um, which looks pretty accurate to the game. I forgot what weapons he came with, but um, yeah, he, you could take off his helmet too. It looks pretty much the same as the Ultra. And yeah, all right. And then we have one of my other favorites, Cat. Cat, she came with a uh, pistol, I mean the Magnum. And you can see she has the robotic arm. And she's kind of in this pose the whole time too. You can move the legs a little bit, but the her waist is kind of like stuck like that. So she's like that the whole time. And uh, her arm you can move. Her head is movable. And yeah, she looks pretty accurate to the game. And she's pretty realistic. Next, I have George, or, yeah, George, and, um, he has, he carries the huge minigun, and his backpack falls off really easily, which is a bummer, but, yeah, um, he looks pretty cool, his colors, he's really accurate to the game, um, unfortunately, the backpack always falls off for some reason, so, doesn't look that cool like that, but, still really awesome. Um, it's really hard to get the minigun or his turret to be in both arms. I don't know how they did it in the, um, picture of him, the action figure picture. But yeah, he, this is one of my favorites as well. And he's, he's really accurate to the game. Um, and yeah. 
Next, we have the Jackal. This Jackal, they put a lot of detail into them too, but unfortunately, some of the paint job went off because I played with it a lot. And he came with a shield, which in the game is a little bigger, I think, but they had to do this for the action figure size. And yeah, he looks kind of funny because the waist or his legs are kind of like spread out and he looks really short. But yeah, this is another one, my favorites. Uh, very detailed, accurate to the game. And yeah. Uh, then I have the Arbiter from Halo 2. I believe he came with the energy sword. But um, I lost that as well. And unfortunately, I lost one of his armor plates. I don't know what happened to that one. But yeah, the Arbiter was really skinny. He was always skinny in the game, so they did that really good. Very accurate. The mouth, the mandibles are a little bit spread out. It's kind of funny. Um, his helmet cannot come off. But, uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. I like this action figure a lot. Uh, then I have some more Halo figures. This is Noble 6, I believe. He's just the default armor. The dark colors. Um, this guy, I'm not really sure. It, it might be like a Noble 6 variant, but he came with the Ultra Elite. Um, these two came together. I'm not sure sure their names, but they're basically the same armor, but different colors. And then this guy, I believe he was a GameStop exclusive. I forgot the name, but he's from Halo 3. He has the Halo 3 armors, I mean armor. Uh, he kind of has like a Power Ranger type of helmet. Still look pretty cool to me. Oh, let me see if I get... There you go. Um, but yeah. And then this guy. Or girl, I believe it was a girl. Um, this is from Halo 4, I think. And I got her a while ago. Uh, I didn't really get too much of the Halo 4 and 5 action figures because I didn't really like how they looked or the armor I mean I still played the games but I don't know 343 I didn't really like how they changed up their armor um, and then this guy this is Gabriel Thorne he was um, one of those where you had to like put all the pieces together and the armor uh, I lost a lot of the pieces because I got it a long time ago. But he was supposed to turn out like that. This is him. There's a poster of him. It came with the package. But if I ever find the um, pieces again, I'll probably try to put them together for now. He just looks really bad. And the armor looks too shiny, so I didn't really like that much. Or like it that much. But still pretty cool. My last action figure is um, Master Chief in his box still. This is the Halo 2 Master Chief, which is one of my favorites. I never played Halo 2, but I've seen gameplays. And I played it at my friend's house, actually. Well, I've only played it, like, once. And, yeah, this is, like, my favorite action figure out of all of them. He just looks super cool and detailed and accurate to the game. And he, came, he comes with SMGs. Um, plasma rifles, the red ones, and yeah, this is my favorite. Um, you can see right here, it it came out like pretty recent because it's from the same company. I believe this is McFarlane, who produced the Halo Four action figures. But yeah, this is him out of the box. If I were to take him out, I'm probably not gonna take him out because he just looks super awesome. And, uh, yeah. I also forgot to show you guys, um, this is a Kelly action figure. Um, I haven't opened her out of the box because she's the most recent I've gotten and probably won't. Um, uh, I usually don't get the 343 action figures, but, um, Kelly was my favorite Spartan and blue team next to Master Chief, so I thought might as well. And yeah, she looks pretty cool. She's not like the other action figures or 
these action figures aren't like the others because I don't know their armor just looks a little bit more plasticky or like shiny I don't know how to explain it uh, what I do like is that you could like move around the parts and take them off that's pretty cool but uh, yeah uh, over here I have some of the vehicles this is a warthog that came with the arbiter riding in the back and the master chief driving and it's remote controlled so if I put in some batteries for this guy he'll start driving and this remote's been working since the day I've gotten it like if I move the buttons you can still see the red light this is a halo 3 and yeah it was like really fun to drive when I first got it and over here this is a mongoose this is pretty rare I think it has like a paint job like that it's pretty cool I believe it came with an ODST but I lost that a long time ago it is unfortunate but yeah uh, moving on to the mega box um, my friend and I traded a lot of these and we used to buy or collect a lot I'm um, over here I have the two hunters this is a golden hunter I'm not sure if it's rare but yeah this is the regular hunter and over here I separated the covenant from the humans or the yeah the humans um, these are one of my favorites because they're like very detailed I don't know if you could see like they put a lot of effort into making these I forgot what they're called they're like the buggers or Emil called them buggers in Halo Reach but yeah they were pretty annoying when they kept on blasting you with the pistols plasma pistols and I have the really old grunts these are like teeny tiny um, yeah and then these guys more grunts I have a couple more grunts over here I'll get to those in a little bit um, this is the new 3d 343 industry grunts I don't really like them that much they're a little bit bigger and yeah their face is a little bit I don't know I just don't really like them as much as the old ones then I have some brutes I have some more brutes in the bag because they're basically the same thing they have the same color and armor so I just brought out one from each type here's the active camo brute here's some more elites these are the halo 3 I believe elites and halo 2 if you look at their armor uh, let me try to make you see yeah there you go And these, I, forget, I don't know what map this was from, but definitely snowy because you can see there's like snow on their feet and legs. Same with this guy. And then this guy, he has like knives on his mandibles and his helmet, which is pretty cool. And over here, I have like the 343 elites with the helmet like that and their head is a little bit different this guy with like the jewel dama I forgot her name or his name helmet style pretty cool um, and then the humans right here these are a bunch of the ODSTs right here there's the active camo ODST this guy is not an ODST I don't know who he is um, and then over here here's a marine this is like one of my only marines I have. And then this. He has a shotgun. Close range, sort of like a meal. And then right here, this is like a pink version of Cat. You can see she has the same helmet. Um, it doesn't have the robotic arm. But it still reminded me a lot of Cat. I'm not sure if it is. Uh, here's some more. These are just the ones that really stood out to me because I like them. And I have a lot in here that are just like other random Spartans. But these are just the ones that I liked a lot. I didn't want to bring out all of them. But um, yeah, and then over here, this guy, I'm not even sure if this is from Halo or Destiny or something. But he has like the flamethrower. His helmet looks pretty cool. And yeah, and then this 
Master Chief. There's a Halo 4 Master Chief, I believe. And he looks super cool. I like him a lot. Um, pretty accurate. Uh, these are like the two only ones that I put out on a stand. Because they're like my favorite Mega Block figures. And uh, I didn't want him to be on the ground. Because this is Master Chief, you know. Um, and then over here I have some more Elites. Or Covenant. This is the Skirmisher Jackal. There's like one of the only Jackals I have. And then this one, the 343 Industry Jackal with the shield and the um, spiker. And then here's a Jetpack Brute. Really like this one. The colors are awesome. Oh no, this is a spiker, I believe. I forgot what that um, weapon's called. Um, and then. Uh. Yeah, it's pretty detailed. The jetpack's really cool. Um, here's another one of those buggers. And then here's an Ultra Elite. Like a Mega Box version of that guy. And then another Grunt. And here's a... I'm gonna put him over here so you can get a better view. Um, a Turret Elite. He's like operating the turret, and he has that helmet. This is a 343 in the street elite, uh, but still pretty cool. Um, I never bought like the map stuff, like the scenery stuff, besides some props like, like um, what are these called? Boundaries. But those are the only things I got, and then the human stuff. There's like a weapons crate and explosive and then the UNSC flag you see it um and then here are the weapons uh I have a couple more weapons but these are just like one of each from their color and design fuel rods uh grenade launchers I think um assault rifles shotguns um battle rifles SMGs Firing lasers and the covenant weapons. Yeah, and then here's some the health pack. And oh yeah, here's a drop pod. I believe this guy came with him. I'm not sure if that was like from a special force or covenant team. But yeah, guys, that's oh no no, I forgot to show you this. This is a painting I did. Back in 6th grade. I know, back in 8th grade. And, um, it wasn't that good. I mean, I like it a lot, but I feel like I could have done better. Um, this is the Halo 4 Master Chief. And, uh, yeah. Uh, and then right here I have all my Halo games. Uh, Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. The only one I'm missing is Halo 2. Um, I've only played it at my friend's house once. Uh, I want to get it. Probably I could get it somewhere at like GameStop. For pretty low price. Um, Halo 3 ODST, Halo Reach, Halo 4, Halo 5. And you've guys seen me play Halo Wars 2. Um, I'm probably going to do some more gameplays of these. If you guys really want me to. And, um, yeah, so the only Halos I haven't played are Halo Wars 1 and Halo 2. So, uh, yeah. Um, if you guys liked this video, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.